So I'm going to introduce you. So we, we have our next session, which is dishes um, of, of digital dishes of, the, of, the, um, of change. And so this is the Africa, no, it's not Africa. What I'm guessing wrong, sorry. <laughs> again, it's the Pacific Islands today and we're doing Tonga and we have Chef Hassan, who's with us today. Hi, Chef Hassan. Hi, Dag. Hi, what are you cooking for us today? Well, today, um, with, as, as with, you just picked up on the quiz there, you know, um, Tonga is very famous for, you know, one of the main ingredients, um, because it's an island, it's the coconut. So I'm using coconut today in three different ways to make a nice, refreshing salad, you know. Um, with this salad, you could add a bit of Tonga to your normal everyday dish, you understand? So it, it's, it's not a main meal, but it's a dish you can add a bit of Tonga to any time, you know? So the dishes, um, some of the ingredients that are famous in Tonga are obviously, they use a lot of um, coconut that we clarified, and they also use a lot of um, root vegetables, like yams, um, these are yams, you know, sweet potatoes, um, yeah. green papaya and stuff like that. You know, and, um, and obviously fish, you know, because it's on an island. So today... So is, is, be... is fish in the main industry on Tonga then? No, but, but they, there's a lot, there's an island, so right around they are able to fish and get the seafood a lot, you know, to, to, and it's part of their, um, you know, their daily... Cuisines and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. I've never ever ate, ate any food from Tonga, so this is going to be really interesting. So today, so we're going to start off with um, just prepping up the vegetables. So uh, every, everyone has their carrots, their mangoes and stuff. So with the carrots, you're just going to peel. So you're looking at the thing most of us know, you peel a carrot, so we peel a couple of them and then it's going to be grated. So the first stage is to get all of the vegetables prepped and ready. So we get a carrot. They have, they have access to hints and tips on how to cook and prepare um, vegetables as well within the, um, the learning platform. Okay. But it's always good to watch a chef do it. So with the mangoes, you know, so a lot of people have uh, pro problems peeling mangoes and stuff. You can use a normal peeler, and just as you would peel the potatoes, you just take it off the the skin, yeah. Yeah. Very simple. Just go right around, and you're gonna get. That looks so easy. Yeah, it's just like a potato, you know. Yeah. But sometimes you. You, 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 you see a mango, it, it looks challenging. How do I get into it? How do I get, you know? But it's, you can, um, with, with the salad we're doing, um, I chose the firmer mango. So I hope you guys have, if it's too ripe, it, it can still be used, but um, we're just gonna peel this. Amazing, honestly. It's like you've revolutionized my life. Well, <laughs> sometimes it's like little tips like this will make, you know, make, make things easier and not, you know, not so challenging. So we have mango or carrots. Then we're going to get the, the rest of the vegetables ready, which would be the peppers. So these have been washed already, all my vegetables have been washed. So I, what I have is a, so with, with the salad now, to bring more color because it's a con confetti, so when you, a coconut confetti salad, I call it. So with the colors, it's, it brings that more vibrance and you know, the colors of that you will get in a, a tropical island. So I'm just going to use to make up my cup of uh, sweet pepper, I'm going to use a, a, a piece of red, a piece of yellow, and a piece of green. So I'm adding a bit more, you know, vibrancy. Vibrancy, yeah. yeah. Because you, you got to remember when, you, when you're when eating, one of the first things that you do, you see the food. So if it's, if it's looking attractive, you know, even though it's a salad, it'd be like, oh, 
I, it's something that I, you know, I might try. Okay. And all those colours are nutritional as well, aren't they? Pardon? All those colours, they're nutritional? Good oh, nutrition. A lot of vitamin C with, with this, because with this salad, what, what's, um, you can easily have this, because with the mangoes, carrots, tomatoes, sweet peppers, and the, the dressing that we're going to make with the coconut milk and the soy and stuff and the lime, you have that with a nice piece of grilled meat. And it's it's a meal, you understand? It's it's yeah, to, yeah. To, you know, have it as a, a main meal or you add, you have it as a accompaniment to a meal, you know? So we're gonna get so in, so in fact, right, um our participants they could actually use this salad and, and add it to all the meals they've been doing through the course. Exactly, you no. Know? So it's it's one of these things. So if when if you're you know, you want to do, you want to showcase what you've learned over the course. So you can have the salad from Tonga, you have a curry from Mauritius, you know, you have something from Jamaica. And um, again, that's bringing together all of the dishes of the Commonwealth that we, are, we have been showcasing. That sounds lovely. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll, su I'll submit a picture that's got everything on the table. Like a feast. Chef Hassan, um, where are you from? I am originally, I was born in Trinidad, but I have grown up in the UK. I came here when I was 18, but um, I've traveled a lot around the world with cooking, you know, and I've been able to um, pick up a lot of, you know, recipes and skills along the way. So um, one of the things I, I, I really like, the food from that side of the world, you know, Tonga. So it, it had a lot of similarities with how we cook in the Caribbean, you know, with the coconut milk yeah. and the base and a lot of the fresh vegetables and stuff, mangoes, papaya, you know, it was very similar. So um, that's, I, I had a, that was where my interest came with um, the, the, the food from Tonga. So have you been to Tonga? Um, hopefully when this lockdown is over. <laughs> <laughs> So right, I think we right all right. want to go somewhere after this lockdown's over. You know? So you see here, yeah, all of the basic prep is, is, is more or less there. Um, the vegetables are peeled off. So the, the next step is actually it's very simple. It's grating, you understand? So you're going to be using the, the same side that you would do your cheese on for the mangoes and the carrots. So I'm just going to get the mango in. And be careful to keep your fingers, you know, away. Yeah, that's a claw. Yeah, so you don't end up with any fingers in the salad. Yeah, you don't want to end up in hospital at this time, do you, really? Pardon? Nobody wants to end up in hospital around. No, 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 no. Coronavirus around. So the idea is to create a mango going around. When you hit the seed, I mean, you know, you've gone as far as you can go. So how long have you been a chef? I have been chefing uh, about 20 plus years, yeah. That's a long time. You don't look old. Yeah, it's it's, been, it's it's a passion of mine. I enjoy learning about food, sharing knowledge about um, and and this like the more people who know how to cook refreshing, healthy food, it's better. For, you know, it's better for everyone. Better for your health. Better for the your family. So. And have you run a restaurant there. in the past? Um, yes, I, I, well, in London, I've helped set up quite a few, because I, I, I work as a consultant chef, so I've helped set up Caribbean restaurants and non-Caribbean restaurants. So basically, uh, my work involves uh, setting up the menus, or it might even go as far as the design, layout, and planning for um, just everything that you can think about when, when it comes to opening a restaurant. So the, we we train the chefs on the, on, on the menus and the specs and stuff and also I 
So I've, I've been doing that for the past seven years. Um, the first restaurant I opened with is in Singapore. It's called uh, wow. Lighthouse. Yeah. And we do Caribbean food out there. That's good. In Singapore. So is, is there um, a market for it in Singapore then? Well, the first, when I first got the initial um, contact, I was like Caribbean food, Singapore, you know, mm. would it work? And uh, they have a similar climate. They use a lot of the similar, you know, ingredients and um, seven years and we're still there. So something has to be, you know, they have to be liking it, you know. Well, that's inspiring because we've, we obviously we've got, uh, we've got six attendees here today. And we've got lots of aspiring chefs. So that's good to know that they don't have to limit themselves just to the UK. They can go no, for me, for me, all right. I, I grew up in a village in Trinidad, not, not even in the capital, you understand? Um, but I, I believe in what I wanted to do. Um, my passion, I've been doing food actually from the age of 11 at, at secondary school there. And um, I had the opportunity to further my education and knowledge, you know, and once I, I had that, the, you know, doors open, you know, I, I've been able to do television work, I've, I've worked with Gary Rhodes, I've done work with the Harry Bikers and stuff, and it's, wow. it's all because of, you know, I, I believe in, in my cuisine and, and pushing it, and I, I, I've, I've kept going, you know, and the, the, the size limit, you know. It's, it's good to know that, you know, just food alone can take you around the world yes. and TV and meet celebrities. We, we used to deliver this at a um, youth centre and, um, you know, many of the, 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 the people who go to the youth centre are interested in music and want to be famous and get a career and stuff like that. But this is another channel that people can take, isn't it? Correct. So right now, like, even with my work, I, I'll be... Some people might need me for a private catering job and I will be in Cayman Islands or, you know, different parts of the world just um, cooking, you know, doing what I love. That's lovely. Yeah. So it's all, uh, we're, we're having a great time, if you understand, a great time. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a I hope every... <laughs> so the first, you're going to be grating the, your um, carrots. And um, the mangoes, and then you're going to set that aside, yeah? So you're yeah. looking at one cup of carrots and two cups of the mangoes. Mine is ready. Hope you guys are getting along fine. So, yeah, we've yeah. had no questions so far, so you're doing well. Yeah. And if anybody has aside. any questions, just put them in the chat or in the Q&A. So we're going to get... You have uh, the desiccated coconut. So if everyone can weigh up a cup of it. Lovely. So that's well, coconut, we, um, is that coconut milk you've got there. No, so this is the, the dry desiccated coconut. Yeah. Okay. So this, we're going to be adding this into the salad. So um, traditionally, they would have used the coconuts fresh from the trees. Um, it's easier. And what I'm going to do here to bring a bit of life to it, we're going to add to the cup of it a, a few tablespoons of water, yeah? Okay. So the dry desiccated coconut they can get from anywhere, like Tesco? Yes, yeah. Okay. So you add the water and you allow it to soak, yeah? And it, it basically rehydrates it. So from it being a, you know, this is something I had done earlier. It gets nice and moist, this. And this is going to be yeah. added into once it's dry. So after after yours is ready for a, a, a couple minutes, once it's dry, we can then add it to the mangoes and uh, carrots, which are grated. The next step is uh, chopping your tomatoes and sweet peppers. So with this, you just want to have nice dice. So again, with when you chop yeah. it, you want to be ensuring that you're, you know, away. That's good. Good tip. And you're gonna use this part of your hand when you come in down with a knife as a, a guide. You understand? So once the fingers are away, like there, 
and you come in yeah. down here, there's no way of you getting your fingers in. Lovely. So, so nice... from one of the um, participants, um, she said it's not a question, but she says this is the first time she's ever known about food from Tonga. And she even looked it up on Wik Wikipedia to see where Tonga is. All right. And she thinks it's a very good course. Yeah, we, I mean, we like to showcase, um, you know, foods that people don't usually come across, so, you know, and, 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 and these are communities that are, are actually in the UK. So we're, All right. yeah. So, the, so they're there, the people from Tonga in the UK is part of the Commonwealth. It was an ex-British colony. Was it Thomas Cook? Yeah, uh, Captain Cook, Captain Cook. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> Captain Cook who discovered it and just yeah. made a British colony. Yeah, they really that, do they? Yeah, it was one of the only Pacific islands to be, that was a colony back then. Yeah. But the, the thing is like, part of the common, you know, we, there's so many different flavors, you know, like I was, I really enjoyed the, the, the one that you did on Mauritius, you know, because of yeah. that. Their cuisine has a, a lot of similarities with the food that I grew up with, you know, the curries and the, the rotis and stuff like that. Brilliant. We've had some really good chefs and some really good dishes on this course. It's been amazing. Yeah. So, you got your peppers. Lovely. All nice and diced up, yeah? Yeah. It's going to be adding. Just add it straight into the mango and carrot mixture. Set that there. So we, next job, we're gonna get our tomatoes. And what we're gonna do is take out the, the eye. Yeah? yeah. So you can do this two ways. I'm gonna show you where you can either get a small paring knife and you go around you go around, yeah, and you take out that the eye that you call it, yeah, yeah. It, this this is a hard part. You don't you don't want that in your salad. So you can do it like that, or alternatively, you cut them into quarters, yeah, and then you just cut out the eye. Yeah, but it, you will have to do it four times. Whereas if you do it the other way, just once, and you just you're ready for slicing. Yeah, good tip. So with, so we have dice there. So with, with the tomatoes, what I'm gonna do is just nice quarters. So you're gonna go half and then half again. So you're gonna end up with some nice segments. So again, with, with, with food, when you, 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 it's good to see different cuts, different textures with salad. And because it gives you a bit more, you know, there's more crunch in the, in, in, in the, um, peppers, but uh, a, a lot of more juiciness and the sweetness of the tomatoes because of how they are cut is going to come out into the, into the um, salad when, we, when you are enjoying it. So, tomatoes in. That's nice. So have you been cooking a lot during lockdown or? Well, a lot for my family and with my son and you know, because he, what I've been doing with him is rec recreating his favorite, you know, he, he, he loves pizza. So he, you know, I was <laughs> recreating, you know, the full pizza express with the dough balls and the garlic butter and, you know, that's trying to give, give him that experience. I did the oh. same with, with like my sister. She, she wanted a steak dinner, you know, it just, I think, um, it, it was an opportunity just to spend some time, you know, with my, my family, and um, and I was like, with, with the cooking, when I was cooking, like if if somebody's near or you know they they could have drive to collect something, it, it's if you know you could get something that would make you feel good, even though you know with all of the craziness that was going on, uh, it, it, it's important, you know, the little yeah. things like that. So food is a Food is very close to my heart, and I know with most people, if you can get something that you love, it, it reminds you of, you know, 
happier times. And it does, yeah, yeah. I mean, and I think all the participants on this course will have some really happy mem memories of, um, you know, this kind of time, even, you know, being part of this course and doing the cooking. And it brings communities together. Like, you know, everybody's been learning about each other and appreciating, you know, the cultures that we have in this country. Alright, so with, with the salad, what you can do now, so we have all of our prep ready. So I'm going to just, this could go into the fridge, so because we're going to get the dressing and the finishing garnish ready. So this will, you can place this now, all the chop, you know, give it a nice yeah. little mix. You can see the colors coming together there. It's very beautiful. Your coconut, which has been hydrated yeah. is ready now and that can be added into the salad mix lovely so you, you, you're going to get the sweetness of the coconut the, the you know, little bit of acidity from the mango and the now this this is good because you've got no preservatives or like, you know bad things adding to. No, you. this is all fresh is best. You understand? Yeah. When, once you can eat the food closest to its natural form, your body will have the the the, the most. You know, it, it would be you get the most from the food and and the nutrition would be absorbed easier by the body. So this is going into the fridge for a bit. And we're going to get the dressing ready. So for the dressing, it's, we're going to be using some dark soy. Yeah. Some coconut milk. Fresh limes. Lovely. And a bit of sugar. Just a teaspoon of sugar and salt and pepper to taste. So again, you guys have the measurements. We're going to be going in with the dressing. So get your lines ready. We're going to cut two lines and squeeze the juice straight into the bowl. Sorry. So one tip with lime sometimes, if you want and they're a bit hard, you can actually put it in the, the microwave for a little bit. Oh. And that's to soften it. Yeah, to soften it. Or alternatively, just on your counter and you press on it and you roll it around, you know? Yeah, I always do the roll around I do. And it gets, you know, nice and... So again, you know, with, it's tropical, it's, you know, Pacific Islands, it's lime, citrus, mangoes, you know, that kind of flavour. To get, a, get a juice in there. Yeah. Wow. That's some roll in there, you see? It's so you have that. You're gonna add a half cup of the coconut milk. The soy, so with the soy, obviously, you know, soy has a bit of salt in it. So, it's you if you're going to be adding the salt and pepper, it's to taste, you know. So, yeah, be mindful of that when you're doing a pure recipe. And a bit of sugar. I'm using brown sugar, yeah? Nice. Oh, brilliant, yeah. So there's quite a bit of um, acid from the, the uh, two lines that we use. So, you know, with, with the sugar, it's a bit, of, I call it a yin and yang balance. You know, if you push, if you put sweet, there's a, you need a little bit of sour. Let's still have the, the dish properly balanced. 
they're going to add a, a little bit of salt I'm going to add and the black pepper. And then we just get a whisk. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, so you're just whisking that together now, yeah? Everyone's so quiet today. Is it? Yeah, they usually ask a lot more questions. You're doing really well. So, I, 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 I need, um, even though the soy is in there, I don't want the soy to be too overpowering because again, uh, you want to be able to taste everything, you know? So I'm going to add a little salt just to season it up. Yeah. So dressing is ready. What I'm gonna do, as I said, is, is we, 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 we're giving one of the native, we're giving the coconut a lot of love in this um, recipe today. Yeah. So, um, what I'm gonna do with some of the desiccated coconut is toast it off, you know? So by toasting it off, it's gonna add even a more nuttier taste. And we're gonna be, that's gonna be our sprinkle or garnish on top of our salad when we, you know, when we're, we're plating oh, it up wow. and bringing it together. So it's, uh, again, we, we, you, you have the fresh coconut inside of the salad with the mangoes, the carrots, uh, tomatoes and stuff. We have the coconut milk, which is yeah. in the dressing. And then you're just going to get a pan hot, yeah? Once the pan is hot, you get a, about a couple of tablespoons of the coconut in there yeah and at that point once your pan is hot you can actually take the fire right down low because you don't want it to burn and you're just going to be moving it you know you're just going to be moving it wow Slightly. this is a good tip i've never done this before yeah. because you can do it with a with the bigger coconut flakes or you can do it with the desiccated mine if you, it's it's already starting to take color because if you leave the fire too high this will start to burn and get too dark too quickly yeah so you want you want a nice golden finish and when once you're doing it you're going to smell a different flavor of coconut and this will come together you know with you know we have it's, it's different layers of coconut we, we we're going to be enjoying with this um tongue and to, you know the confetti coconut salad that we're doing here um, close. So we are getting near people. It's this one is a is a quick and easy recipe. Well, that makes it easy to do, and it's all about nutrition. This is uh, yeah, and flavors. keep it moving it's one of those things that the minute you take your eye off of it is that it, it can go you know so <laughs> i'll leave you to concentrate yeah i just want to get that right take a uh, color nice finish but i do look forward where we could actually bring all of these dishes together and invite people to come and enjoy it, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. So yes, it's coming, it's, it's reaching to that golden, so make sure your fire is off. And if you watch, I don't know if you can see, yeah, it's difficult to say. Oh, yeah, I've seen the colour, but... Yeah. Well, you can see it's gone browner. Yeah. So that's off. So, we, we're nearly there. We have 
or dressing. We have, so this now is just a, this is gonna pull to the side so it is allowed to cool down. And in the meantime, we're gonna get our salad ready. So we have the base with our lovely mango, mm. sweet peppers, tomatoes, it's all in there. Then we're gonna take our dressing. And we're just gonna add half of it over. What I'm doing here now is I want that those vegetables themselves to soak up that nice flavor of the of, of, of that coconut, the soy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And we also had some salad leaves. So what I'm doing here now is making it a bit more um it's 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 kind of upgraded, you know. We we were taking it to a different level. So we're gonna yeah. add your normal uh mixed leaf salad. Yeah. Take about half a bag of it in there. And this is just gonna be tossed together with the mango. Gonna get my bowl. I'm gonna serve it up in nicely, ready. So, salad leaf. Get a bit more of that lovely dressing. So you just drizzle it over, really, aren't you? Yeah, just drizzling it over nicely. And then we have. Our uh, toasted coconut. I'm just going to drizzle some of that over it. And, uh, Couple of wedges of lime, just for garnish. And this is just a few tops of a spring onion. Oh wow! I mean, we've already had somebody say it looks absolutely stunning, and it does look stunning. I mean, that who believed that's a salad? I mean, you get many young people who would don't like to eat greens and salads and things, and that looks awesome. For me, you know, if you add more, if you like more the the, the toasted coconut, you add it because that will give a nice little crunch texture. You go in there, you get the the acidity of the mango, and again, if you want it spicy. You can add some chopped, you know, uh, chilies to to the, you know, as one of instead of the sweet pepper, you can put a bit of chili in there. Again, it's down to your preference and your spice level, but um, it's easy as this to bring a bit a nice taste of Tonga in with our, I call it a confetti coconut salad. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and um i'm looking forward to uh, any questions you may have or um 
And well, that's amazing. Again, Thank you so much. I mean, does, does anybody have any questions? I'm going to start unmuting everybody. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to um, ask any questions of the chef. Does everybody want to first say thank you to Chef Hassan for sharing? Thank you, Chef. That was awesome. Round of applause from me. Amazing. Oh, I'm your biggest fan already. Like, wow. <laughs> I love eating from you. It's amazing. I, that's mouth-watering. Absolutely mouth-watering. I can't wait. I'm going to do mine later. 